Today I'm going to be talking about the ketogenic diet and your thyroid. Let's get started. So I promised this video to you guys for those of you who have specific conditions with your thyroid and those of you who have asked me whether or not the ketogenic diet would be right for you under those conditions. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and today I'm going to be talking about the ketogenic diet and your thyroid. So let's get started. So I promised this video to you guys for those of you who have specific conditions with your thyroid and those of you who have asked me whether or not the ketogenic diet would be right for you under those conditions. So first of all, let's talk about what is your thyroid. The thyroid is a gland that actually sits on your neck below your Adam's apple. Now this gland is responsible for releasing hormones that will support growth as well as energy metabolism in your body. Now your thyroid is actually controlled by another hormone which is also known as TSH, also referred to as the thyroid stimulating hormone. Now TSH is controlled by iodine and it needs iodine to function. So these hormones are commonly referred to as T4 or T3. Now the T4 hormone where the four indicates the number of iodine atoms where the three is also the number of iodine atoms on that one. So T4 and T3, these are hormones that are transported in your blood. Now there are two types of conditions that you need to be aware of when it comes to the thyroid. Healthy thyroid function is when your body is creating the correct amount of T4 and T3 for energy metabolism. Fantastic. However, in some of you who have an abnormal thyroid, there is a condition where you can have too little of the thyroid hormone, and if you have too little of the thyroid hormone, that is hypothyroidism, H-Y-P-O, and there's also a condition where you can have too much of the thyroid hormone, which is hyperthyroidism. So when you don't have enough of the thyroid hormone, again, that condition is called hypothyroidism. Now, this condition can be revealed through several symptoms. You can feel very fatigued, very tired. You can have an inability to fight off colds. You can feel depressed and it can lead to weight gain due to your body's inability to produce the correct amount of the thyroid hormone that you need. So hypothyroidism is commonly treated through medications to support proper hormone function. However, there are ways you can go about this through proper nutrition. Going gluten-free is obviously a really great way to go about that, as well as making sure you are getting enough fat and the proper balance of protein to support your nutrient needs. And as far as hypothyroidism goes, you are not at a complete loss as a result of this. You can still accomplish great things. You can still reduce your body fat. You can still reach your goals. However, it is something that does need to be managed carefully and you still need to be very diligent about your nutrition to see progress and see results. And it's not the kind of thing that you should take a one size fits most approach. I encourage you to work one-on-one -on -one with a nutrition specialist like myself or a registered dietitian to help you work through those issues. So the other condition I was referring to is hyperthyroidism, which is the condition where you are generating excess of the thyroid hormone. Now this is going to show itself in a completely different way than hypothyroidism. So hyperthyroidism is going to reveal itself in the sense of maybe a slightly faster heartbeat. It can lead to diarrhea, it can lead to weight loss. And this is a condition that definitely is due to the excessive production of the thyroid gland. So hyperthyroidism is commonly managed through medication and it's definitely something that you do want to take extremely seriously and not rely on nutrition alone to treat it. So the question I've been asked is, will the ketogenic diet support 
hypothyroidism. I'm filming this video specifically for somebody who asked me this very question and here is what I have to say about that. So the ketogenic diet is a diet where you are higher fat, lower carb, moderate protein. So the carbohydrate level of the ketogenic diet is too low in my opinion to support somebody with hypothyroidism. The reason for that is your thyroid needs to produce the T4 hormone. The T4 hormone gets converted into the T3 hormone. T4 and T3, all that indicates is the number of iodine atoms. However, when you decrease your carbohydrate intake, what's going to happen is you're gonna slow down the rate of conversion from T4 to T3. That is a problem and having low T3 is actually not good if you have an underactive thyroid. For that reason, keto will limit your T3 production. So it is not good for those who have hypothyroidism. Low carb would be great and there's benefits to low carb for those with this condition. However, I don't recommend going keto. Low carb will be helpful, but full-blown keto, the carbohydrate level is gonna be just a little bit too low. When I say a little bit too low, what do I mean? So when I say low carb, I mean in the range of 50 to 100 grams of carbohydrates per day. Now keto is probably like 25 grams of carbs or less. So when I say low carb, you can be probably in the 50 to 100 gram carb range per day and be in good shape, however, I don't encourage you guys to dip much lower than 50 grams of carbs per day. Now granted, your fats will be balanced out with those macros, but you just don't wanna to go too low. So I hope this helps that specific person and anybody else who has this condition. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.